All right, so I stand. Oh, yep, final destination. I called it. I'm so smart. Anyway, we're gonna get right into it. Blue taking a very fast 46%. Please, possibly not messing around right now. Very good PK fire into down throw conversion. And Luma is already down. And again, Blue is just continuing to get hit 82% in like 15 seconds. It's pretty impressive. Um, so Red Team definitely has a lead, but I mean, Charizard is definitely capable of racking up good damage with just a few hits. So we'll see if he can bring it back. You definitely don't want to mess with the enraged Charizard. So. Until, oh, unfortunate up air by Summer Haze on Blazing Hawks, but not too much comes out of it. And now Blue's are already over 100%, but GWJ is doing a good job of making, uh, keeping them off of Blue now. He's um, really making sure that Summer Haze and Blazing Hawks don't get like, ganged up on him. Now Blue's gonna whip the grass, and another um, Luma's going down, and 86%, and he's almost got. Oh! And I believe that was the tree coming up that caught blue, and that's definitely, when you're playing a villager, that's something you have to watch out for. Because it's pretty sneaky, and if you're not paying attention, you will get caught. But just as I'm talking, blue with a beautifully spaced back air is going to take Pasta out. That thing is so strong, and Pasta's going to take a stock of his own, so now a red team will have to 5 to 4 stock lead. But Summer Hayes definitely needs to get back down the stage, and that lead will be going very quickly. Pasta's gonna get to work on this next stock, but GWJ did a good job of stopping Pasta from being able to rack up damage. Nice back here, keeping Blue off stage. I will say, neither one of the teams is really going for a lot of 2v1s. They're uh, really just saying, you keep this guy off of me, I'll keep this guy off of you. But it's working for Red Team so far, they have a 5 to 3 stock lead. Pretty good stuff from them so far. Oh, and the Earthquake down smash is going to take out um, Summer Haze. So now they um, close the gap a little bit. Another quick stock like that. I know Pasta could probably get killed by any of Charizard's smashes right now. Save for maybe up smash. So, ooh. And I don't like that PK Thunder option by Pasta. It's a little too risky when uh, GW is standing right there. And the up smash, Pasta is going to hang on just a little bit, but the next one will definitely do it. So Summer Haze is going to do a good job getting the wall so he doesn't get a chance to really edge guard Pasta. And Pasta's trying to stay aggressive, you know, you don't want to get too, um, docile when you're at those high percents because a raised nest, you could probably kill Ro um, Rosalina with the next up air he commits. And just a few more hits and Charizard will probably be in danger again. Oh! And that was very good stuff. GWJ was withering away at Pasta's shield. Oh, and the bat kill! Very nice stuff by Pasta. And, oh, Bowling Ball is going to take it, so now it's Blue's one stock against their three. Dash attack, gonna rack up a little damage. Oh, and Summer Haze picking up Pasta's combo. Should probably let him do the throw first, but regardless, they're still in a perfectly fine position. Uh, Alright, pivot grab, and... Oh! Wow! 60% Charizard died off the side. I know uh, FD doesn't have the biggest horizontal blast zones, but that's still pretty impressive to me. Um, so, Hayes and Pasta are gonna take game one pretty convincingly, I'd say. Um, and we'll have to see what GWJ and uh, Blue counterpick. They're probably going to pick something with the three platform layout, if I had to guess. But Town and City, I know, will be a really good stage for Rosalina. So we'll see what they do. Definitely, um, that game didn't go the way they wanted to. Uh, they spent a lot of time off stage. They never really had good stage control for the majority of the match. And um, that's definitely something they have to get straightened out. If they can just both stay on the stage and establish stage control, the match can go a lot differently. But it, it felt like they were playing from behind the whole match because they were just fighting to get back on the stage. So we're going to get a character switch. We're getting Rob from GWJ and Blue going to Sonic. Interesting choice. Um, I'm not sure what these guys do together. I do know 6WX and Uno make very good work of that team when they team together. So, we'll see what they do. Uh, opening gyro, as every Rob does. <laughs> uh, I got Fedora about to hop on the commentary with me. Okay, what's up, man? So, this is game two of Losers Finals and Doubles. Hayes and Pops took game one. Okay. How convincing was it? Like, what's the two stock? Three stock. Okay. They were, in, they were never in any real danger of losing. But that was in the class. We're going to focus on this now. So they were, like, always, like, ahead the entire time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and again, uh, GWJ spending a decent amount of time off stage, and 
Blue, uh, not really doing too much to keep Hayes and ne uh, Blossom from trying to edge guard, but it worked out for them regardless. Because why one go, wait, why did he go Sonic instead of Mewtwo? This one, did he go, wait, did he go Mewtwo um, in one of the earlier matches? Sonic and Rod just worked better together. I think GWJ probably didn't like Rosen in this situation. He wanted to go Rob. And Blue and, I mean, uh, Sonic and Rob do work really well together. Sonic can down throw into, like, Rob's down smash. Um, things oh, like yeah, because it goes across the stage. Yeah, yeah. I was wondering, because I'm not used to, like, a fan of doubles. Yeah, know, like, yeah. Um, like, I know 6WX and Uno, I've seen them do Rob Sonic a lot. And it works very well for them. Yeah, because if you don't, it, it's not, you can actually tech Sonic's down throw, right? Yeah, yeah. Because you hit the stage. So, like, you don't tech, you can just down smash with Rob and kill. Yeah. Can you up smash? Um, can you up smash? I'm not sure. And convincing it. Eh. It's just really close. The two stocks, but they both can die to pretty much anything right now, so. Anyway. Oh, and Toss is going to get to work. Blue's not there to break up the combo, but he does get the race. The classic the down throw into Florida. Yep. Ooh, Phoenix Thunder is going to track with a little bit of percent. Blue lucky he didn't get caught. Is that going to kill? Nope. Nope. The he next one get... might. Next one's definitely going to kill. It was that close. Yeah. It almost... Oh, oh there it goes. And Blue, out. And GWJ did a very good job staying patient and making sure that when he went down there, he was going to get it. Yeah, because like, the thing with Pasta, I played him before, it's like... He either air dodges on the stage or grabs like if you don't get it, he's very easily able to be edge guard, as we just yeah. saw, like every Ness. Yeah. yeah, and that's the definitely a trap in the neutral air stage play. So I feel like the a main power I'm seeing is very good weight on the air dodge oh, by Pasta. Oh, he and he still has his jump at the Oh no, he doesn't. I take that. Oh, the, well, Sonic Blue, the stock. yeah. So now See, they, they they pretty much just got that stock for free. <laughs> something I noticed, I've never seen, I do watch those, I've never seen Blue and um, J, GWJ, right? Play? Something I noticed is Pasta and Summer Haze are like always together while. Yeah. They, um, Summer Haze seems to be doing a really good job of separating. Like, he seems to be doing a really good at separating Blue yeah. from whoever was yeah, going after. Yeah, and that, that was a big part of why they won game one. They just, they did a really good job of staying together and forcing Blue and GWJ to kind of get back on stage. Oh, and that yeah, side B, he's still going to be able to I don't, Yeah, I don't usually see, like, like right now, Blue and G, uh, Blue and, uh, Blue and him are, um, they're concentrated right there, but I don't usually, I haven't usually seen that. And Pasta's going to have to be careful, and Upsmash and Rob will probably do the job right now. And on Pasta, I feel like, I, yeah, I feel like now I could definitely do it. Especially with his at like 120%. Yeah. Oh, and that forward smash is not going to quite do it just yet. Good job, Pasta. They could still win this if they take Pasta's stock. They're oh, yeah. in a really bad situation. Oh, and yeah. now we have pretty much a 2v1 situation. They can get the oh. And uh, I don't know. Can he, he, get, he can get edge guard right now. Oh, he did. He did for it. He tried. Oh, and that back air will do it. One possible so, I, um, I feel like he could have. He could have backed it. Yeah, he he definitely. Back he probably. should have been a little more aggressive. But regardless, uh, Pasta was able to get that stock. So now, I Summer Hayes has to do a better job of keeping Blue off of Pasta. One good hit, and Pasta's done. I feel like even at the percent difference, I feel like if Pasta lost a stock right now, Blue could still make it back. Oh yeah, definitely. That's why Hayes. Is, he's, he's doing exactly what he needs to do. He's just trying to wall he's Blue out. He's just keeping him off of Pasta. If Pasta loses his stock, this, this could very well be won. But a nest back throw will definitely do it now. Yeah, Pasta's just doing... I'm not Pasta's Pasta. Summer doing exactly is, what he needs to be doing. Pasta's just running away, and he's letting Summer Haze just take all the hits right now. Oh! Oh! oh. He's trying to edge guard. He's trying to get out of the way. Oh, and that homing attack will do it. This so is now still a possibility. That. Yeah. Pasta got a little too greedy. He's almost at maximum rage. So the Sonic is rage, so... Yeah. Or thing, like, could he, could he kill him at like 80%, like 70 with a forward smash? Like, depending Maybe. on where he is. I'm not sure. I feel like if he lives on it, especially if he's at max rage. I mean, like, it depends on where you are in the state. Like, probably not from the center, but he's on the edge or something. Yeah. Oh, that down air is not quite do it yet. A little close to the edge, maybe. Oh, oh Blue just it. jumps up into that bowling ball, and that is a dead Sonic. Take it 2-0. <laughs> Who's up next? Um, who's up next? I believe they move on to losers finals to play Redeemer and Bash. Bash. Yeah. Redeemer and Bash. Who was Redeemer and Bash lose to? These uh, guys? I believe Giraffe and Enigma. All right, they got that. Who who were they playing?